If I was going to add a little bit of stubble to the character, I'd want to select some points around the chin and cheeks. So for this I'm going to use the paint tool. I'll use the U hotkey and then press 11 to get into my paintbrush. What this means is I'm going to be painting actual polygons. So to do this I'm just going to select some polygons just right around the chin line. A bit of a 5 o'clock shadow right around his neckline. Make sure we get all these polygons underneath his his chin. Again, when you're using the F11 paintbrush, you have to make sure that your paintbrush touches all four corners of a polygon, or all four vertices, or as many vertices as you have uh, of the polygon that you're working with. Your right mouse button acts as a deselect uh, tool. I don't really need all that. Get the selection a bit tighter around the mouth. And definitely right over the lip line for a bit of a goatee. Or a bit of, uh, not a goatee, but uh, a little bit of stubble anyways. Let's get rid of that there. Up there as well. Uh, let's paint in some of these other points. Okay, just get up underneath the nose. And I think that should pretty much do it. Yeah, it's a good uh, a good mustache line or a good beard line, anyways. So let's go in here. I'll back into my hair menu, create hair from selection, and I have to be careful here because I still actually had the polygon selected. Up by the eyelashes, so I'm just going to use extended component selection and middle click and drag to deselect those polygons. I can turn extended component selection off. So now I'll go in and create the hair right around the face line. And the real trick here is just to obviously scale the hairs down. We'll make the hairs really short, short and stubbly, like so, and maybe just add a little bit of kink to them. So just add a little bit of frizz, a little bit of kink, just some randomness, and we'll keep the thickness of these hairs just a little thicker. Add some randomness to the hairs as well, and if I move into a render hairs mode at 100%, we get a pretty deep 5 o'clock shadow. Again, maybe the stubble's a little bit too thick. So back under the Effects tab, I'll take the scale down to, say, 0.9 and 0.7. And if I was to use maybe 12,000 hairs, I get an even thicker stubble patch. I can always take the hairs themselves and scale them down a little bit more. And of course, finish off by giving them some shading. So if I edit the shader, modify shader, hair already comes with its own shader the instant you build it. So you can see that every time we built a hair in our material manager, we actually get a hair material and hair renderer. So I'll call this the stubble material. Doesn't look like, oh, there we go. And once again, the stubble is going to be very dark on this character's face. So I'll take the uh, root color, make it much darker, and copy the root color to the tips and to the specularity. 
So now when we put everything together, we end up with a very machismo hairy character. Let's just do a final render region and see what our final look is. So we get a nice bit of breakup around the beard line here. The stubble might still be a little bit too thick, but uh, it does a lot to kind of add to the grizzledness of our character's face. He's got some very nice grooming going on, which is good to see. Nice clean uh, shave line. I think what I might have to do here is probably increase the amount of stubble just a bit more. So I'll go to about 22,000 for my stubble. And I'll also take the size of the stubble down a little bit more. Let's go back down to, say, uh, 0.7 and 0.5. So I'll freeze this off and do a final render at 22,000 hairs. This character's hair is fairly short, so in a shot like this with a character of this type, we probably wouldn't need dynamics for this character's hair. Sometimes you have to make a choice between uh, the overhead that hair takes just in grooming it and the added overhead of actually going in and deforming it on top of the rendering of the grooming. So hair definitely adds a lot to a character. You know, as they say, hair makes the man. And in this case, it definitely does. It makes him look a lot more presentable and appealing. So I hope you've enjoyed this hair tutorial, a little bit more in the grooming of hairs on different parts of the body, and a strategy for dealing with an entire head of hair.